Hello everyone, this is going to be Transport Fever 2 Megalomania Part 10. And you know what, when I started this, I didn't think I was going to actually stick with it up to 10 parts, but there you go, here's Part 10. Now last time, uh, I built up a couple of passenger uh, lines, and uh, those are uh, doing their thing. Um, I think, uh, I, th I thought last time I was going to uh, connect up some more passengers. Uh, and that is uh, ultimately what I'm going to do. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, playing with cargo can wait. Uh, yeah, I want to wait until I have uh, better uh, trains. Uh, before I start doing too much with cargo. Better trains and better trucks. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, last time, uh, I left this, uh, this weird uh, uh, scheme here where the uh, straight tracks, uh, where I continued the tracks straight and created this uh, divergence to head down over here. Uh, now, my theory, I believe, was I was going to send this off either to, uh, uh, what is that, Patterson, or, uh, uh, where is it, or bend off up this way. Uh, and you know what, uh, there's no reason it can't be both. But this way requires a bridge, and those are expensive. Uh, even now, uh, when I've got a good income coming in, uh, you know, two two and a half mil every year, or every uh, not every year, every um, every period. Uh, uh, even that, it, it is uh, somewhat uh, expensive. So uh, you know, to build bridges. So uh, I'm going to uh, avoid that for now. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this line up toward either Evansville or Pueblo. Pueblo might be the interesting one. That is a uh, base population of 148 and Evansville, no, Evansville 102. So yeah, uh, Pueblo would be the uh, the uh, probably the uh, biggest bang for the uh, investment buck so yeah I think that's what I'll do and this could actually a large chunk of this track could serve as the basis for a uh, uh, a river main line um, uh, I don't know what's north and what's I, you know they really need a compass rose for this game so that you can uh, orient yourself and name things north south east etc anyway how am I going to get from here up into up to Pueblo well uh, what have we got here we've got a uh, ridge here I could go around this way which would actually look kind of nice you know skirting the base of the uh, the the mountain there that does require cranking this around and going up here Alternatively, I could just go straight through the uh, the ridge, and uh, that would give me uh, probably a better uh, a better line overall. Uh, and you know, I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go through the ridge. Uh, as nice as it would would look going around here that's going to be quite expensive uh, time wise for what no 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 I need uh, tracks so I'm going to uh, go straight out from here for a little bit more and uh, go level no level click on yes okay now you have a road in the way what are you gonna do about it well that's a dumbass road so I'm going to uh, bulldoze it. Uh, are you sure you need to bulldoze that much of it? Um, probably not. Uh, but you did anyway. 
Yep, yep, I did anyway. Uh, okay, so I need to get a track through up to here. Okay, so is this where you want to go? Um, level it. Actually, yes, that's where I want to go. Uh, so I'll bring this one uh, up here, and while I'm think while I'm thinking of it, I will reconnect this. Uh, right. How's that look? Yeah, it'll do. Uh, now, uh, I guess I want to come even with this one. Oh, hey, that'll work. Uh, and then, uh, no. Uh, we can do this and this. Okay, so that's the road connected up again. And now this doesn't look stupid either. Uh, right, back to the, uh, the tracks. Well, how much is this tunnel going to... Well, where do I want to go after the tunnel? Well, I think I want to go through here. Maybe sweep ar around... Yeah, okay. So that means I'm aiming that way. Okay. So if I take this and I go here, how much does this cost? Well, if we level it, make sure it's level, it is. Um... 1.9 million. Um, yeah. I'll take it. Okay. So, you're going to double track the tunnel. Well, for 900k, yes, I am. Yeah, I think that was the right choice. It gives us a, a nice long sweeping uh, track up around here. Uh, yeah. Now, what do we get here? Uh, okay, well, we'll build that. I may have to rebuild that road. You can go through here. Now, what have I got? Ah, it's level. Okay. Uh... No, I came too far. Back up. Okay. Uh, now I want to go this way. Level. This way here. Because uh, I'm going around the back of this farm. Uh, yes, I'm going around the back of that farm. So that means I need to go up about there, right? Yeah. I wish they'd do something about this. Uh, yep. Yeah. This is going to be hideous, right? Uh, well, the tra the rail crossing is okay. Yeah, I can, I can accept a steep, uh, approach on a road. Uh, okay, now, here. Uh, where are you going to put the station here? Well, I'm going to put the station right here. Uh, this is going to, yeah. I'm going to need two platforms here, so two. Uh, so if I put it here, now if I put it here, then I'll end up, yeah, I think even that angle is the one I want, so yeah, I'll put it, now let's uh, straighten it, is that what you want, 300k? Uh, yes. Tracks. Okay. Now, you do realize you need to get a crossover in here, right? Well, let's, uh, level this. I think a crossover will fit in this space. Um, it also uh, would work uh, in the tunnel, but it's easier to build them outside. Uh, so we'll come through here. That's straight. Uh, and level. 
Yes, okay. Now, this needs to come out past the toe of the ridge there. Yep, like so. Now, over here, this needs to come and link up. Now, how horrible is this going to be? Well, it might be okay. Do we have a lump? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Take it. Uh, okay, now how hideous is this? It's not. Well, they've certainly improved the uh, creation of level crossings uh, in Transport Fever 2. Uh, it used to be you had about a 99% chance of getting some hideous affair uh, from a uh, level crossing, but these ones aren't too bad. Uh, obviously, I need to put signals on here. Uh, so you're going to start over here, aren't you? Yes. Uh, okay, so we need the approach signal there. We don't need any in the, uh, in the uh, tunnel. Uh, so we'll just put a bunch of them along here. Again, I'm sure some of you, all three of you, are shouting at me that I'm putting the signals too, too far apart or too close together. You know what? It's my game, and I'll play it the way I want to, including the stupid way. Uh, actually, I'm just putting enough signals here so that if I ever put multiple trains along this, this uh, track, uh, I don't have to worry about them having huge wait times because the blocks are uh, half the map long. Uh, to prevent uh, conflict uh, with two trains, you really only need an approach signal to the stations at either end. Uh, or rather, uh, an approach signal to the junction at the one end and an approach signal to the station at the other. Okay, we'll put this one. Uh, outside the tunnel. Uh, the tunnel is long enough that I want one in the middle. Yeah. Uh, now, the um, scale of the uh, railroads in, in uh, Transport Fever is quite a lot larger than the scale of the uh, rest of the map. And as a result, uh, where, it, where it looks like the uh, signals are way too close together they may actually not be uh tra his trains are quite a lot bigger than the uh than the other features on the map so uh you know and and this is just a playability thing i'm sure uh and that's fine i i'm okay with that uh the scale's a lot better on these than uh on the stuff in this game than a lot of them Okay, so that gives us a line, and that's a long one. Uh, this one has potential to make a lot of money. Uh, I, I put a cross over there. Okay, so I already have two lines in here. Huh. Well, that means I need to expand the station. Configure. Okay, so we put another track. Uh, now I need to do something about this station throat here on both sides actually. Uh, so pause the game. Uh, start on this side. I'm gonna have to actually kill this. Okay. Uh, first of all, I need a, a line coming there and a line coming here and I'm going to need a line coming here now I should be able to double slip this yes so that means I can get out here and in here uh, and this what wait uh, and if I put a cross over here can I fit a cross over in here that is the question. I can. 
So that looks, uh, now this is going to require some waypointing, I think. Okay. Can I fit a waypoint in here? Not without it looking hideous. Uh, is I want to avoid, you know, I, but I can fit a waypoint here. So I want to avoid the trains coming out of this track this way going up here and using this as a crossover because uh, I don't want to block uh, this switch uh, because I want this train to be able to come in here at the same time as this train is exiting here. Right. Good. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, well, let's just take a look at the routes here. Uh, pin that. Uh, that one goes that way. That one, yeah. Oh, it is taking the right path. I don't need a waypoint. Excellent. Okay. Uh... Do I need to connect it on this side? I actually don't, I don't think. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I need a, I'm gonna put a signal here, uh, track, that's what I need, track. Uh, this is gonna be a two-way signal, which will go here, and that way, it, uh, if I do connect this, yeah, I, I don't technically need it, but theoretically I should put one of those in both of these as well. But no, don't don't exit the game. Now, what I need here is a line. I know someone's going to shout at me that I don't need that signal there. New line. Uh, so we'll go here. And way over here. Way down here. We'll go here. Yep. Oh, right, I can launch the game again. Okay, that'll work. So that's Pueblo uh, Santa Ana. Okay. No, not a new line, you moron. Edit the name. Uh, Inner City Rail, Santa Ana to Pueblo. Yep, yeah, that'll do. Now you do realize you need to uh, sling some trains on this, right? Yes, that's going to be somewhat uh, annoying. Now I'm, I've been limiting myself artificially to one train depot, and that's mostly so that I don't confuse myself, uh, and it guarantees I've got a interconnected network so that it's always possible to at least get a train to the network. As it turns out, even though trains upgrade in place. Uh, if there isn't a path to an appropriate depot or the game or the depot the game thinks is appropriate you can't upgrade the train uh, I ran into that in another game where I was uh, upgrading a train to electric and the closest depot wasn't didn't have an electrified path to it and it wouldn't upgrade so yeah uh, I was using the class GV, wasn't I? 55? Yeah, I think I was. Uh, 190 kilowatts, 50 kilonewtons. Yeah, I was. Okay. Steam. Yep. Yeah. Passengers. I was using passenger car, wasn't I? Yeah, I was using passenger car. One, two, three. Uh, do I want four? I can add it later. So I'm going to put three trains on this one because the line is so long. I have enough cash to do that too, so buy them. And the only reason I'm putting three trains on this, this line is because it's so long. Uh, so I should actually launch these. Uh... ICR, SA, okay, there we go. Now, 
I don't have a lot of cash. So what I'm at this point. So what I'm going to do is, uh, well, what I need to go do is up here at, well, that's launching. I'll just pin that. Uh, while that's launching, I'll come over here and, oh, look, it, it connected to the town for me. Uh, so, yeah, I need to, I need to link everything up here. Uh, roads, buildings. So I'm going to need a bus station here. And I think I need to, I need to send a line up. I'm going to need a proper bus terminal here. Okay. No, you go away, you go away, you go away, you guys go away, you go away. Uh, you guys go away too. Maybe I should pause it. Okay. Uh, bus station. Uh, right platforms. I'm gonna send one up here, one down here. I think I only need two platforms. So one on either side. Yeah, okay, that should be fine. Uh, dope. Uh, yeah. Okay. Do I want to launch it that way? Yeah, I'm going to put it that way. Because then I can do uh, an in and out. Okay. Uh, configure. Uh, put a, another entrance there. Okay, now we've got a through plot, a through station there. Um, right. Okay. Now, roads. Uh, I want this coming out here. Yep. This. Oh. It can, in fact, link. I might as well. And. No. I'll bring this one out. Okay, yeah. Uh, that way I've got some straight roads there. Okay, now. Uh, you do need to finish your uh, stops, right? Oh, that's trains. Uh, buildings. Bus stop. Okay. Now, I wanted to put one up here. Yeah. And then this one, I want to put one down here. Yes? Yes. Okay. Now these are residential, these are commercial, these are industrial. So I'm going to need a, uh, I'm going to, huh? Well, if I put a line between these two, between these two, and between these two, that should get me pretty much everything. Uh, just the shape of the town. So yeah. Yeah, I think that'll work. Okay, good. Uh, right. New line. Here to here. Yeah. Uh, this one will go on the other platform. Okay. Uh, and this is going to be local Pueblo cross A. And then I need a new line here to here yeah and this is going to be local pueblo cross b and i'm going to put a line here to here yep yep uh local pueblo cross c okay now the reason for this is uh, passengers go from residential to commercial and then back to residential and, and they go from residential to industrial and back to residential they don't go commercial to industrial uh, this stop covers the most of the commercial okay uh, but I need to go from here 
to here because of the train connection. So uh, that should cover pretty much everything. But you know what I need? I need a depot. That's what I need. Uh, which I can uh, bang in. Well, I could stick it over here, but it'd be in the way. Uh, I'll bang it in. Yeah, right about here. Okay. Now, what do I have here? Still just the, uh, well, the carriages. Uh, I'm going to put four on each line, I think. Which means I need 12. That's probably too many. One, two, three, four. Uh, Pueblo cross. Hey. One, two, th three, four. Pueblo cross B. And those ones, Pueblo cross C. Now, if you're wondering why I don't select them when, when I'm going to put all of them on there, it defaults to all of them if none of them are selected, all of the ones on the list. So, okay, so that gets those linked up. That may give me better growth potential because I'll, I'll probably have more local ridership in the town the way I've set that up. Okay, let's unpause. Uh, right. So I think that's all I need to do there. Uh... And I think, really, I need to uh, wait for some stuff to happen. Uh, what I'm going to do then, let's ride the train on turbo. Now, what are you going to do? You're going to wait. Uh, yeah, so we get to uh, examine the layout a little bit. Uh, where are we heading? For? We're heading all the way to Pueblo first. Okay. Uh, and that makes sense because I didn't connect the uh, platform from this direction. So, yeah, that, that does make sense. Uh, but it looks like we've got something of a main line going here, actually. Uh, yeah, so I'll be able to, at some point in the future, uh, maybe add uh, uh, fast lines as well as the main lines and uh, throw a couple of express trains up it uh, when we have something faster. Like maybe the Milwaukee would make a uh, a good uh, uh, a good uh, express train from uh, Long Beach to Pueblo, for instance, on uh, on this uh, this line. Uh, it, it would be able to uh, make the uh, the journey, and that would that actually might be a, a, a quite a good thing to do, uh, simply because uh, what it uh, allows me to do. Well, that was interesting. Uh, what it allows me to do, then, is go through and do a whole bunch of uh, station remodeling uh, to put through tracks in the middle. Uh, and then, the, uh, then the, the fast lines can be in the middle, and the uh, main lines can be on the sides, and the main lines would be the ones that stop at the platforms. Uh, that, I think, actually might be the thing that I do. Um, that could work. Uh, and with this new station mechanic, you can do that. You can uh, have through any configuration of platform tracks and through tracks that you want. Uh, and I think that might be a good plan uh, for the future. Uh, when the faster trains become available, uh, adding, uh, uh, you know, express and semi-express trains along a longer line. Uh, and I know from uh, from other uh, plays on uh, uh, Transport Fever 2 that the Milwaukee does a pretty good job of uh, running at its uh, at its maximum speed. Uh, it's it's uh, one of the first electric trains that's available in the vanilla game, uh, and it's it's quite a massive monster, uh, but it does. It, it does get up to a, a pretty good top speed, hundred and I think it does 110, might be 120. Uh, the real trick is having passenger wagons that can also do that speed. Uh, but it's pretty grunty as well, so it uh, does a pretty good job going up and down grades. Uh, and, uh, well, down grades is not a problem. Gravity helps you, but going up the grades, well, it, it does a pretty good job. 
uh, and it's uh, kind of a, a nice uh, upgrade, uh, ultimately. Uh, it looks like this track is okay. Uh, the level crossings look okay. Uh, I don't see anything particularly egregious there. Uh, one thing this that Transport Fever 2 likes to do uh, when you put parallel tracks across a road is it likes to have them going across at slightly different heights and you get that a sharp hill on the road in between the two tracks. It just looks ridiculous. Uh, so yeah, I was that's mostly what I was trying to avoid. And here we go, approaching the station from the tunnel. It actually, well that was uh, pretty nice actually. So we're going to pick up 29 passengers on this run and then uh, head back. Uh, yeah, so looks like this is going to uh, going to work out pretty well. Uh, well, let's uh, let's stop following the, uh, the the train and the cab. Stop riding it. Uh, yeah, this is uh, well the the you know the terrain on this map is really nice. Uh, I can't remember what I've got the graphic settings set to. Uh, anyway, uh, stop following. Uh, right. So we're up to 1865. We're going to start getting uh, uh, getting new uh, road vehicles in about uh, was it 15 or so years, game years. So it's, uh, I'm not sure uh, what comes when. Uh, I'm really looking forward to having uh, better uh, better road vehicles. Uh, right. Uh, when we get the diesel trucks, uh, the early 20th century diesel trucks, uh, uh, Long Beach to... Where is that one? I only have one train on that line? Oh, I probably only need the one. Okay. Uh, what I should probably do is uh, connect this up, uh, just as a, uh, it, just for completeness. So this would go like so. Come on, there we go. And then uh, this would be a double slip, and uh, signal go here, and. Really, this signal should then be back here. There we go. That gives a complete uh, set of uh, connections on that platform so that uh, trains can make it through in all directions. Uh, doing that, if I'd done that in the first place, I think this would have been the first stop. Okay, so we're collecting passengers headed for Pueblo, so it looks like everything's working. Uh, we got a train coming in f for that one. Uh, it's going to pick up uh, 19 or so passengers. Okay, so this, this, this line should be uh, profitable uh, fairly quickly um, once the train space out. Uh, anyway, now... Uh, I want to take a look at the uh, transit within the town. I've got... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I need more... Uh, more vehicles on this. Adding four more, maybe. Maybe that will... That will improve the passenger usage of this... Uh, this uh, uh, train station. Uh, yeah, as we we're building up passengers that weren't going anywhere, so yeah, 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 that's definitely going to impact things. But this is going to be an issue as more and more uh, uh, towns get connected up. There will be more more people uh, potentially going intercity. Uh, yeah, uh, that's going to uh, move uh, more. Well, it should move. Uh, three times as many people. Uh, that's no longer overloaded, so that's good. Uh, yeah, so what's... Uh, okay, so the quality of the service and the platforms is uh, is very good now. 
uh, destinations we're at 60% there uh, yeah so what I should do I think is also run a highway up to Pueblo uh, is that will in, improve uh, con connectivity I think uh, so uh, where's the where's the main road uh, you know what maybe I'll yeah I'll, I'll do that here uh, but the highway I think will go around yeah that's what what will happen uh, this will be the highway so you know what I'm going to break this again and uh, uh, you can slow down uh, going for a medium country road there and connect this up uh, this can go back to there and yeah head around this way yep and then uh, bring this in uh, yep that is lumpy but you know what it's fine uh, it's a road after all uh, and one that I'm not going to be running traffic on so I don't care over much so if I bring this around this way uh, yeah I need to come around the the toe of the uh, the mountain there and then I can go straight up through here Uh, yeah, I can split the, uh, the thing here. Yeah, I can go between the farm fields. Uh, no, I don't want to link with that road. Uh, right. narrow angle ah right 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 well, that's slightly less annoying than construction is not possible uh, right okay you can go back that way uh, yeah I want to continue building the road through there uh, through here and then this way connect this back up Connect this up and connect this up. Yeah, that's the sort of thing you find when a highway's been driven through uh, an area. Yep. Uh, and then I can come around this way and I want to come in on this side of the track. So I want to cross the tracks. Okay. Uh, I will do that. Uh, yeah, I'll cross the track. Can I bridge the track? Collision. I can bridge the track. I'll do that. Well, those two sections can be... Uh, Embankments. Yeah. And then I'll come through around here. Okay. And really, this is a, an exercise in uh, aesthetics more than anything. Uh, I'll ultimately probably upgrade that to a uh, four-lane or six-lane road, but we'll send this through and connect these things back up again. 
because it just looks wrong when industries are not connected to a road and yeah now I need a road tunnel coming out of here uh, and at 690 K that's uh, not too bad uh, right and then I can connect this up you know what I think that's not too terrible really I should bring it on this one because that one goes through yeah that's what I should have done put it through on there uh, and since we have to bend around that way anyway uh, yeah yeah that's better that makes more sense because then the through road which goes on to Roseville that is Roseville, right? Uh, yep. Uh, then that one is the one the highway comes in on. And I think it's worth having a uh, road tunnel there. I think that's something that would possibly even have been done at the time. Although, I'm not sure I'd want to be driving horses through that. That's... Uh, well, that's only, what, 160 meters long? Game scale? Well, that's not too bad. Right. So that... I don't... Uh, this piece of road would probably have been taken out. I'm going to take that one out. Okay, yeah. Okay, I think that's... Uh, that's how I'm going to... Wait a minute. Oh. I should, uh, for completeness, connect that. Yeah. Yeah, that's potentially a little better. Uh, good. Uh, and that was just because my CDO wanted to have a highway there, but it should also uh, improve the uh, private uh, connections. Uh, private because uh, if you have uh, roads uh, good roads between towns uh, this um, private this destination thing the the private transport this percentage goes up and your towns get bigger so it's worth doing uh, even though it competes with your transport uh, the fact that it's there uh, makes the uh, towns grow and uh, if your your transport network is good enough uh, the uh, game people will, in fact, use your services. No, no, no. I want the station. Okay, that's down to 42. Uh, we don't have a crazy build-up in there. Uh, we don't have a crazy in-town. We have a lot of passengers here. Long Beach to... I think... Maybe... This one might perhaps uh, manage vehicles, might perhaps need a second train. Uh, and that's the, uh, that's the, the thing, uh, as your uh, transport network expands and they can reach more destinations, uh, the network effects, the knock-on effects can make your uh, uh, transport lines uh, busier. Uh, right. So that's uh, coming in. I don't think I need to add cars to that those trains just yet. Because uh, we're going to take about half of those. Uh, yeah, now that it started loading, we're going to take about half of them. Uh, yeah, I think that might catch up. So, you know what? Uh, I'm going to uh, add a passenger carriage to each of those as well. Because I think the tra the passenger capacity is going to increase some more. Okay, so 
I think that's all uh, I'm going to be doing this time around. Uh, that is a fairly long line, uh, but it should make money. Uh, before I go, let's take a look at uh, line balances. That one's just getting started, so yeah. Uh, okay, so some of these lines are losing money, but some of them are uh, are going gangbusters here. Uh, okay, well we've got the uh, we've got three of the freight lines here are uh, making boatloads. Uh, a lot of the internal uh, 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 bus lines are uh, making money as well, so that's good. Um, yeah. So we're losing six hundred eight fifty. One point one, about one point two mil on those lines, uh, but we're easily making more than one point two mil on the ones that aren't losing money, uh, and these should uh, should improve uh, over uh, over time as the uh, lines bed in. So. Uh, that should uh, that should improve things. Yeah, uh, I've got too much transport on some of these lines by the look of it, but I think they need what they've got. So uh, you know to actually do what they do. So yeah, uh, I'll leave it. Uh, a couple of these uh, cargo lines will make more money when uh, faster uh, freight trains are available. Uh, this guy's running mostly full, uh, so yeah, yeah, and they're they're jumping in and out of there, so yeah, uh, it should be you know the the company is uh, is profitable, uh, so uh, overall, uh, unless I spend a bajillion. Uh, and that's that's fine. Uh, you know, I did all that six point eight, like seven, seven and a half million in investment, and still have one point eight mil. So it's uh, you know, it looks like this uh, this map is uh, going to be quite profitable, and that's uh, that's okay. Uh, now, uh, next time around. Uh, I might uh, might send a line that way, but I think I wanted to see about bringing Evansville into the uh, network. I'm not sure. Uh, I think maybe Des Moines and Evansville uh, should get a connection, and maybe now where's the logical connection point for them to the network? Uh, well, Long Beach, since I'm doing a hub, might be, and you know, take a line out and crank it around. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. Long Beach to Evansville uh, next time around. Uh, ultimately, I'll probably run a line up along this river from McAllen to uh, Des Moines, and then up, up to the canyon, maybe to Bellevue and Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. I'll probably run a line through that way. Um, so yeah, so maybe I'll do that to bring the uh, line up the uh, the the shore here, uh, the riverbank. That's what it's called, riverbank. Uh, but I'll burn that bridge when I when I come to it, I guess. Uh, meanwhile, uh, let's just uh, camp out here. Uh, so, yeah, that's uh, that's it for this uh, this episode. Uh, this may be a little bit uh, tedious, I'm sure, but uh, that's kind of what's uh, what's doing here. Uh, I might start uh, looking into multi-hop routes uh, at some point here. Uh, 
But for the most part, I think I'll, I'm sticking with the point-to-point -point lines at the moment is probably going to be better for the uh, pocketbook. So I'll probably stick with that for a few more episodes. Uh, uh, this uh, episode should be going up on Friday. Uh, I'm probably going to, un while I did have episodes through the weekend last weekend, uh, I'm probably going to uh, uh, not put any up on, on the weekend this time around. Uh, so the next episode will probably be up Monday. Uh, I'm doing that for two reasons. One, uh, so I, I don't... Uh, so I have some time to breathe, uh, so I, I don't end up having to make several episodes back to back. Uh, and, and two, I'm kind of hoping that Urban Games releases a patch uh, in the next couple of days uh, to fix a few of the niggles. And if they release a patch, I want to have this this series on it ASAP. So I'm recording this on uh, Wednesday. So uh, it uh, so it, it'll be going up Friday. Uh, I record a day or two early, so I have time to actually edit them. Uh, as it takes a couple hours to edit and render, uh, and then uh, and then uh, uh, come uh, come Monday, maybe we're on a new patch, maybe not. Uh, but I'll have time to think about what I'm going to do as well, and that's kind of what I want to do. I want to think about where is where do I want to take this uh, series to, to do something a little bit more interesting. I may wind time forward a bit. Uh, I'm, I'm, I, I haven't decided yet. So far, you've seen everything I've done on the map. Uh, but I might uh, put some time in, wind the clock forward, and do a little bit of uh, boring quality of life stuff, renaming things and so on, uh, off off camera. Uh, I I haven't decided yet, but it might be worth winding the clock forward. So uh, don't be surprised if come Monday, uh, instead of being 1866, it's like 1875 or something like that. I, uh, I probably won't do that quite that large of a jump but I might uh, just so we can get to uh, better vehicles uh, I may also take a break from the passenger stuff and go look at more cargo stuff uh, you know get some more really profitable lines going uh, that might actually be a good choice as well anyway I'll have to look around the map and see what's available and uh, what I can do anyway uh, that's enough uh, rambling here uh, that's uh, all for part 10 here uh, see everyone back for part 11.